Taurus, this is your July tarot reading. I, I, I can see from it, I think there's some good news, and I hope it is, Taurus, because I've been following you, and you could do with some good news, couldn't you? Anyway, I, I do hope it is, and I hope you get something useful from this. I really do, Taurus. Taurus, as I say, I've been looking at your readings and following them, and I know the problems you've had with your love life. And so what I spotted with this, you look at that central card, the Ten of Cups, suggests happy families. Oh, I do hope, I do hope this is going to turn out like it looks at the moment. Go to the bottom right hand corner and we have the full card starting all over again with a childlike innocence. But like many of us, you're hanging around at the moment, you're waking in for something to happen. I don't know if that's self-imposed or being imposed upon you. But yeah, in the future, you're going to be balancing things. A little bit of a struggle, but you'll, you'll get through it. Don't, don't worry about it, but it, it will be a little bit of a struggle. I normally see it as work-life balance, but I, I don't know what it is at this moment in time. We've now got the, um, is it a six? I think it is, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, six of pentacles. Which is a card of charity. I'm pretty certain this is you being charitable. Might not necessarily be money. We've been getting this quite a lot recently, this card. And often it means you being charitable in your thoughts towards people. Now that, that card leads to the outcome. But what would change the outcome? a queen of cups filling your heart full of love empathy that's interesting uh, the outcome is the temperance card taking the middle ground seeing the other side maybe leading a more temperate life but I think it's more about seeing the other person's point of view taking the middle ground it's more about compromise I think I think Taurus so whilst on the face of it, it looks good, there's a lot to be explained here, isn't there? So I hope you'll stick with me to try and find out what it's really all about. And yeah, the thing I'm so excited about and happy for you, Taurus, is the energy running throughout the entire reading is this Ten of Cups. And I'd normally associate it with happy families. I mean, it's certainly a card of multiple blessings. You look at it, there he is, husband and wife, children playing there, the cups above them, certainly about love, you know. Uh, but many blessings, they've got, they're dressed beautifully, looks like they've got a lovely house. It, it feels secure, doesn't it? It feels loving, it feels secure, it feels great. It feels like you've found happiness at last, if you ask me, Taurus. I do hope it's true. I really do for you, because I know what you've been through. Now, in the recent past, he started off on a new journey. A new journey with a wide-eyed innocence, a childlike innocence. I think this was a journey about love. I might be wrong. But, you know, thinking of your past readings, I think it's about love. But, yeah, you started off on this new journey. You know it's a new journey. You'll get some things wrong. But, you know, you've got hope in your heart. And you can see, look, he's got all of his belongings on that stick on his back and hasn't got a care in the world. And his little dog's running alongside him, barking away, saying, you're about to step off a cliff. Now, <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but you will have your pitfalls, you will, but you'll also have your victories. And um, that's what starting afresh is all about, isn't it? And your current energy is that the hanged man. Now, the, this isn't things going slowly, this is things absolutely being on hold. And I don't know if you're doing it, or if it's being hoisted upon you. But you're not. it's not that you're frustrated with things moving slowly. 
you're either frustrated that you can't do anything or you're purposely not doing anything. And I don't know why that is. Because you've set off on a new journey. You've set off to do something. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I'm reading too much into the love aspect of this. And this is about global events because quite a few people have had this card. Quite a few people are, are waiting on seeing the lie of the land before they decide what they must do because of they know there's something wrong in the world but they don't quite know what to do about it. Maybe that's it, I'm not sure. The future energy is that of the two of pentacles. Struggling a bit, struggling to find balance. I often think of it as work-life balance, but I don't know if that's what it is. But, you know, you've got things on your plate and you can't quite cope with them all. You'll get through it. It's, it's, not, it's not a card of no hope. It's a card of great hope because you do struggle through it. You look at him, he's barefoot on the seashore now. I find it very difficult to be barefoot at the best of times, but on a seashore I find it impossible. But to do that while juggling those two pentacles as well. You know, and that, that's it, you're, you're just struggling a little, but you'll get through it. Are we talking of world events again? Are we? Your life's been on hold, now it's a little bit of a struggle. How does that fit in with this happy families I'm not getting it at the moment I mean it could be you know this is the the cards are all about energies so they could be energies that are unrelated or they could be two stories running parallel maybe it'll come together we'll see And the card that leads to the outcome is the Six of Pentacles. I'm certain this is urging you to be charitable. I'm not too certain it's about money. It might be charitable in your views towards others. That's my candid feeling about what it's about. Life's been put on hold. You started afresh. Life's been put on hold. You're now struggling a bit. Balance. Be charitable in your views to others. Is it about love? Or is it about what's going on in the world? Is it about both? I'm still not there. And the energy that would change the outcome is the Queen of Cups. Very loving Queen, very empathetic Queen. Yeah. Do you remember we had... Oh! The last card is asking you to be more charitable. And this one is being more loving. So one is more understanding. And the other is just being led by love. Wow, it's quite subtle this, isn't it? It's quite subtle. Being more charitable in your views towards others or just simply loving them. Interesting. Coming back to what your previous readings have been about as well, isn't it? Yeah. Not sure. Changes the outcome, this one. I have got hung up between the difference. Remember... Well, the difference between being charitable and the difference with being loving is they affect the outcome differently. So if you're charitable, it leads to this outcome, which is the temperance card. Whereas if you're loving, presumably you don't need to be more temperate. So I think this is to do with your love life. I think that's come back into the frame. So you can achieve happy families, new journey, well that, that makes sense, I don't know why you're hanging around, maybe it's a reluctance on your behalf 
you're juggling, you're juggling maybe with work and with this love. You're finding it a little bit difficult going. And if you are charitable towards them, then you'll continue to be charitable towards them, continue to take the middle line, try and see things from their side. Whereas if you simply just love them, none of it matters. None of it matters. That seems to be what it's saying. But I couldn't be certain. I'm going to get some clarity. And I'm going to get clarity on this temperance card. So I think it'll fall into place if we if we understand that. First card is fear of the unknown, the moon. Now you have been through a lot in terms of love, haven't you? So you're fearful about committing. That would be the difference between charitable and love. Yeah. The next card is the Queen of Wands. I mean, she's rather a nice queen, but she can tend to use people. So I wonder if, yes, of course. You're not entering this loving relationship with love. You're entering it almost, what can I get out of it? There has to be a fairness. Whereas if you're led by love, nothing matters. And that's what this balancing was about. Remember that balancing? It's balancing your emotions with trying to be in a relationship yeah okay I'm going to look at each card individually now yeah this first card of clarity is the moon card you're fearful you're fearful of the unknown now I can understand you being fearful because you've been through it in terms of love uh, but love means giving, doesn't it? You shouldn't be... You should jump head, fa head... Jump straight in, you know, without fear. Jump into love without fear. Yeah, you're too guarded. I understand it, don't get me wrong. I, I completely understand it, but you're too guarded. That's what's happening here. You... This isn't going to work out well unless you give the person the benefit of the doubt. Now, I don't know if this is this person who, who, who I thought in the past was a narcissist and had betrayed you or is someone new. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it's a narcissist, they won't change. So you're right to be like this. But the the the. the the overall card is that happy families. But is that just your wish? Are you right to be guarded or not? I honestly can't tell you, Taurus. I'm sorry, this isn't looking as good as I thought it was. And we now have the Queen of Wands. Now, this is somebody that uses people. Often it can be in quite a nice way, you know, gets the best out of people. But what this is telling me is it's somebody that uses people. And I thought it was you, but I don't think it is. I think this is referring to the person you're, you, you're in a relationship with. Um, if you remember, I did do a reading where I suggested somebody was a narcissist and used people. And if I'm right that they are a narcissist, then you, you need to run a mile. But these cards are sort of suggesting that maybe they're not. Maybe they were just using you. And it was temporary, I don't know. Because this is about giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. We've got this two of pentacles again. Remember I said it was about balancing, juggling, struggling a little. I think this person 
somewhat high maintenance. I might have got it wrong in the past about them being a narcissist, or, or maybe they are, maybe you should stick well away from them. But the cards are suggesting that it can work, and it can never work with a narcissist. I mean, maybe it's a different person, and just, you've got another one that's high maintenance. I mean, you know, things do, you know, cycles do repeat themselves unless you learn from them. So, you know, I think you're with someone that's high maintenance, somebody that does use people, and you're fearful of it. But, you know, if you want it to work, you've got to throw yourself in and truly love. Yeah. Well, I can summarise for you, but I'm sorry, it's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, Taurus. Taurus, I've been keeping track of your readings. The saga of your love life has gone on for, well, more than a year now. And I've been keeping a track of it. And I did, I don't know if it's, I think it might have been the reading before last. So if this is July, June, May. Could be May. It might even have been before that. Could have been April. And I suggested that you'd been with a narcissist. Now, I don't know if this narcissist, if this reading is about the same person. Because I can see some of the traits in there. Or maybe you found somebody else and they have somewhat similar traits. Did I get it wrong that they were a narcissist? I honestly don't know, but they've got some of those traits. And if they are a narcissist, they won't change. You've got to run a mile. But you so desperately want happy families. You so desperately want love. In the past, you turned over a new lease of life, went off on a new journey... So maybe this is somebody different. Maybe it is somebody new. And they've just got some of the features of your last love. And, you know, that's quite common. That's quite common. Um, not least because of the universe keeps pushing us around in cycles till we learn our lesson. Um, but right now, you're feeling like you're in limbo. Now, I don't know if you're in limbo if it's self-imposed. Or you feel like you're in limbo with them. But you do feel like you're in limbo. Now the reason why I don't think that this person is a narcissist. Is you're being asked to be more charitable towards them. You're being asked to see things from their point of view. And to take the middle ground. However you're fearful. You're fearful of the unknown. You're fearful from your past experience. They do appear to sort of use people, or use you in particular, and they're somewhat high maintenance. You find it difficult to pursue a career and pursue love with them. And so they're hard going, they're hard going. But this reading is sort of suggesting they're not a narcissist, but as I say, I think it's a new person even though they're hard going. And yeah, if you can be compassionate, if you can be understanding and take the middle ground, you can have this happy family that you're looking for. But the universe is actually saying, well, you know, better still, if you just unconditionally love people, it'll work out all right anyway. 